Okay, guys, so oh, <laughs> this is my screen right here. Oh, this took me forever. So the lighting has changed because it's definitely darker out. But this is my lock screen. It took me like an hour to um, get this together. But yeah, anyways, I do love iOS 26. I think it's weird on 26 because look at this. You see how that's behind the photo? It's kind of like 3D or whatever. Yeah. And okay, so this is my home screen here. This is my home screen. And I love this, you guys. It's giving fall, it's giving dark academia, like, you know, okay, you know. So this is what we're looking like right now. And all my widgets come from the Widget Smith app. So this is currently what we're working with. Everything you see here, I created in Widget Smith's um, app. And it's very easy, very seamless, unless you want to add a bunch, which I added a bunch. So that's why it took me about an hour to do this. I do love this Air, this iPod here. It actually does play the music. Let's see. Okay, I'm listening to my fall playlist right now. And then we're listening to Frank Sinatra. Let's pause that because we're not trying to get copyrighted. And the thing I love most about this is that you can you can literally just design whatever. So I actually took some of these photos here. Of course, this is me. I took that photo. I took this photo here. These two I got from the Widget Smith app. I'm sorry, the Color Widgets app as well as this. This also came from there. That came from there. These two came from there. That did as well. I took this photo. That's me, of course. I took that photo as well. Those two came from there. And then I took these two photos as well during the fall here in New York. Fall here in New York is actually really pretty. I just realized I just doubled. So that is there. And then that's there too. I need to change that. But um, it's pretty easy. I'll actually do one with you guys so you'll see how to do it. And a lot of people don't know. So how to make these shortcuts here. You probably want to know how to make these icons. I'll do one with you. So for example, we'll say the Crunchyroll app. So you click that. It opens up the Crunchyroll app. However, the way to do that is to download the Shortcuts app. And so this is Shortcuts here. And as you can see, I have a buttload of Shortcuts right here, okay? A bunch of Shortcuts. So what you wanna do as soon as you are on this screen, you're gonna hit this plus sign right there, okay? So this is your new shortcut. The first thing I do is renaming. So what's the shortcut you're gonna make? Let's say you download a game app and the app is called The Sims, okay? So just for fun, we're going to name this to Sims. Now, what do you want the shortcut to do is what's on this side. So you want we want this shortcut to open the app. All right. So we see open app popped up here. Which app? You click on app and it has a list of apps for you to choose from. Okay. List of apps for you to choose from of which widget this is going to open. So for funsies, we're just going to open up the journal app. Actually, let's rename this to journal because I do have this actually, I believe. We're going to we're going to do a journal widget. So you're going to click on this again, the journal name, you're going to add to home screen. Now, from here you're going to click on image and you're going to click choose photo. Now you'll download the photos from the color widgets app. So, this is the journal and we already have a widget. Here's the journal widget right here. You're going to click on that, click use and you can move and scale it, but I'll just leave it how it is. Click use. You can also rename this right here, but it's already named for us journal. So we're going to keep it that. Then you're going to click add. Bam. There's the journal app right there and it automatically does it. And so now when you click on that, it's going to open up the journal um, app for you automatically. And then you'll just remove the normal app from your home screen. But it's pretty easy. Pretty easy. So like I said, download shortcuts right here as well as the widgets app right here. This is the widgets app, the color widgets app, and I'll link all this below so you guys can know. And it's for your phone, but you can use it for your iPad. And people actually create different um, widgets and themes that you can just add the entire thing onto your your um, iPad or iPhone. So right now, Autumn is in. So I literally just clicked search, hit Autumn, and here we go. And this is where I got some of my stuff from. So I'll download another widget with you guys just to show you. We'll download a book one. Let's see if we can find one that has books or sweaters. Here we go, sweaters. So see these different widgets right here? We're gonna download this one with the clothes. So you're just gonna click on that and it has different sizes. Don't worry if you choose the wrong size. You have your uh, four different options. You'll just click on set widget. 
and I already have some in here, but it just adds it to the list. So this will be number 18. All right, it already added. So you'll go to your home screen, okay? Home screen, you'll just long press on the screen and edit home screen. We're gonna click edit in the top left-hand corner, add widget. We're gonna go over here to color widgets. We're just gonna add and there, add it there. It's all automatically starts with widget number one, but remember we saved it. So this is gonna be the very last widget. There we go, there's your clothing widget. Now, in order to change the size, you either long press, long press and see how you can choose the sizes here. So that makes it a little longer. This makes it super huge. There you go. We're gonna keep this as just a regular normal square. There we go. And this is just from the main screen without editing. And whenever you edit the home screen and you click edit home screen and it's shaking, then you pull from the corner. I forgot that part. You pull from the corner to show you how big you want it. But I like to do it the other way. It's just easier for me. So I kind of messed this up a little bit. Let's put that back. We're gonna edit the home screen because I do not like how this is. We're gonna move that back over there and move this back into the middle. And we'll just put this mm, here, it's fine. All right, I also took the background too. This, uh, I think, what is this? The Rockefeller? The Empire State Building, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, I'm tripping. The Empire State Building. So I like to put my photos, cause I like to take photos. I'm not a photographer at all, mine are kind of mediocre. But I like to take the photos that I take and put them into um, these widgets cause it just makes it more personable. So that's kind of what I did here. And then the back, the last page is always just some random mess. So a lot of these icons that people create, they don't create them for everything. Like I don't see one. I don't know if I can find one for good notes or procreate. So that's why these are normal. And I just leave them in the back on the last page, but I'm going to see if I can find some that have been designed for these. So I don't even use playground. Let's delete that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's how I'm going to leave it here for now. This is for the fall. When spring and summer hits, I'm gonna change this to something summery for the most part, probably, but this is my aesthetic right now and I really, really like it. So yeah, we're gonna leave it like that and I'm gonna download some more apps that I need and hopefully this gave you guys an idea of what your iPad can do design-wise and you guys get to do that if you have an iPad and you're looking to do some designs like this. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and thank you guys for watching.